On day one, I spawned in as a baby lava enderman. I looked around and saw a bunch of goblin miners attacking my home and taking the lava from the nether. Find the lava enderman and get some lava. The boss wants all of it. Son, you're here. We must go now. They found us. Uh, Dad? What's going on? A <laughs> goblin approached us, but I threw lava at him? Whoa. Okay, time to run. We started to make a run for it, but quickly realized there was no escape. We were surrounded. Listen to me. Whatever you do, do not let them capture you. You possess a lava heart that is very powerful. I love you, son. Be brave and run. Wait, Dad! But it was too late. My father ran in as a distraction and was quickly killed. No! From my anger, I teleported away from the goblins. I can't just let this slide. I have to secretly follow these goblins and find out more information on why they destroyed my home. On day two, I followed them to a new world. I looked and saw that they were all gathered around. You know who I'm looking for. Where is the lava enderman? Extractor. We couldn't capture him, but we obtained the nether lava. The punishment for failure is death. This must be their boss. The guy that is behind all of it. We all know the heart that lies within the enderman is the key to our success. With it, us miners shall be granted unlimited power and resources. My heart is that powerful? And they want it? That's the reason they attacked and killed my dad. This makes me so angry. Out of my anger again, I teleport it in the middle of the crowd. Um, hi? Get him! I tried to run away as fast as I could, but there were too many of them. Out of nowhere, though, poofed a drop bear. Come with me, now! The drop bear killed one of the goblins and escorted me away from the mining post. We ventured outward. Is this really what the overworld looks like? Not exactly. It used to be much safer. My new friend introduced himself as Ral. He then went on to explain how the goblins have went around the world and stripped it from most of its lava and resources. Homes destroyed? Villages completely poor? Everyone looked like they were affected for the worst. But why lava? And what do they need it for? Ral told me it was so they could power up all of their equipment. Lava was their main energy source. Aw oh man, if we don't do something about this soon, the nether will also be a totally dried out wasteland. We kept walking until we reached what looked to be a makeshift camp. Welcome to our home. Our? I looked and saw another drop bear approach us. Ral introduced me to his wife and explained how they used to live in very hot caves, but because of the goblins, they were forced above ground in the cold. This temperature is slowly killing us, Fozo. As drop bears, we need heat. If things don't change soon, we won't make it. Don't worry, Ral. I'll find a way to put an end to all of this. He thanked me and threw me some starter tools. I got them and went out to get some materials. Once I got some wood and stone, I made myself a house at the camp. This place will do just fine. Now that I think of it, I think I saw a lava temple a few biomes over. Maybe Maybe it's connected to you. It's worth a shot. Thanks for the help. On day four, I reached a large structure. I think this has to be the place. I slowly made my way inside, making sure that there weren't any goblins ready to strike. Once I realized the coast was clear, I made my way through. I saw a giant painting in front of me. Wait, is that me? What am I doing above all of those people? Am I meant to be their savior? I looked down and saw a book. I started to read through it. It said that the lava enderman will replenish the world's thirst and hunger from greed. Once he is fully able to use his heart's full potential, all will be saved. I wanted to read more, but it looked like the pages were ripped out. Great. Where am I supposed to find those? I picked up the book just in case I may need it later. Put your hands up! In front of me were a bunch of goblins. Okay, no more running. It's time to fight. We clashed. I couldn't fully control my teleportation yet, so I kept randomly teleporting around. Ah, this is so annoying. I then used my new sword, taking down each goblin with ease. <laughs> All but one? Well, looks like he got away. Because I defeated them, I upgraded to a full-size lava enderman. And look at that. I have 10 hearts now. Whoa, what is this? A lava blast? Sweet. I better head back to camp to share the news. Sir, the lava enderman, he's learning and growing stronger. You fool. Why can't you goblins do one thing right? Send out all of our men and capture him at once. Once we have his heart, the machine will be ready to operate. Yes, sir. I promise, brother. I'll finish what we started.
On day five, I was venturing back to my camp. Oh, is that my stomach? I guess I forgot I have to eat. Thanks to my adult size, it looks like I can teleport around at will now. I used my newly mastered ability and teleported to a village. I was about to grab some crops from it, but after a quick glance, I realized this village was extremely poor and barren. Wait, is it true? The lava enderman is real! Wait, you know who I am? I have read many books about you and your prophecy. I told the villager that he seemed tired. He told me that him and the rest of his people were because the goblins were taking most of the resources. They can't trade anything without emeralds. Man, life has been really hard for everyone. I promised the villager that I'll find a way to reverse this and left. As I was leaving, I saw two piglins. Wait, what are you guys doing in the overworld? Ha, huh, those stupid goblins. They took all the lava from the nether. I've never met anyone more greedy before in my life. I mean, we are kind of like that with gold. <laughs> They went on to explain that the nether is completely drained now because of the lack of lava. The temperatures dropped drastically. The extractor's rage is growing by the second. I offered them a place to stay. Because of it, they gave me a nether sword. Sweet. They also gave me some food from the nether that supposedly supplies heat. Oh, Ral will love this. Come on, guys. Let's go. On day six, I arrived back at camp with my new piglin friends. Ral walked up to me. He seemed very unsure about letting nether mobs stay at his home. The piglins quickly got angry at his comments and also didn't like him. They started to fight each other. You want to fight, huh? Yeah, take that. Ow. Stop it! Stop it! Guys, we need to remember, we have a common enemy right now. Stay focused. They both apologized and agreed. Now that that's handled, I started to make us a farm. With these nether crops, hopefully they can help Ral and his wife stay warm. They all thanked me, but our celebration was cut short to the sounds of explosions and machinery going off in the distance. That has to be the goblins. Guys, stay here and don't leave camp. I'll be back. I promise. On day seven, I follow the noises until I entered a large mining structure. There was a full operation going on here with mining holes and machines everywhere. I can't let these goblins do this. Time to put an end to it. I teleported in and they were shocked. Some ran in and tried to attack and capture me. These guys were definitely a lot stronger than the last ones I fought, especially when they're higher in numbers. But I was actually putting up a fight. Look at me go. Look at who finally decided to show his face. You, I know what you're doing. Taking all the resources from the world it's wrong and needs to stop now. You giving me orders? How cute. We will have your heart whether you like it or not. Oh yeah? Come and get it. We fought and he instantly took away half of my heart. Oh no, this guy's strong. One more hit and I'm dead. Ah, ah, I was at half a heart. I give you credit for trying, but time to end this. No, I used the remaining strength I had and uh, teleported out. Uh, I don't feel so well. Ugh. Uh, where am I? I slowly looked around and realized I was in someone's house. Oh, good. You're awake. Ah! Ah! I gotta get out of here right now. The goblin calmed me down, though. He told me he didn't agree with the extractor's ways and was trying to help me. Him and his men are out searching for me right now. He found me and took me in. Yeah? Why should I believe you? Listen, man. I kind of saved your life. If I wanted to, I could have had you killed. You know what? You're right. Thank you. He told me his name was Gobby and said he was forced to work as a goblin miner at a young age. He hated it. He went on a walk as he explained the origin of goblins. He told me that goblins were never liked by anyone. They were always banned from every civilization out there. So they made their own. I see. What's the deal with the extractor? Oh, him? No one really knows where all of his anger and greed comes from. But there have been plenty of rumors surrounding his origin. We then stopped and he threw boots on the ground in front of me. The other guy Goblins found these nether boots while searching for you. Thought you would want them. Oh, sweet. Thanks. I put them on and started to feel a lot better. I thanked Gobby for all of his help and headed back towards camp. I returned to the camp and found that the nether crops had fully grown. Great. Now everyone will have more food to eat. Cheer Ral, have some more of the food. He ate some of it and looked more energetic than before. Thanks, Fozo. I'm a whole new drop bear. I can't wait to give these to my wife as well. Thanks to his newfound energy, Ral told me he may be able to find the other missing pages of the book. But first, I'm going to need something to help with my research. He then said that he needed an ancient scanner. This will show us what the pages used to be before 
before they got taken out. Bring me one from an ancient library, not too far from here. With that, reading this book will be a piece of cake. If we can find these pages, hopefully I can find out more about my heart and the extractor's motives. He told me where to find the library, and I left the camp to begin my journey. On days 11 to 12, I made it to the ancient library. Whoa, this place was huge. I wonder how I'm gonna find a scanner here. I walked around the library, but couldn't find it anywhere. I made it to the center and found a person there looking through the books. Uh, excuse me, you wouldn't happen to know where an ancient scanner is, would you? I actually do. As a librarian, I have one scanner left. That's great. I asked the librarian if I could have it, and he said yes, but he needed some help first. My books of machine technology have gone missing. Please retrieve them for me. He walked out of the library with me and pointed me towards a direction. I noticed footsteps that led out of the library. The librarian told me that he would have followed the tracks, but was too old and weak to go out. If you return my books, I'll be more than happy to give you the scanner. You've got a deal. I followed the tracks out of the library and started tracking the missing books. I continued following the tracks until I found some pages on the ground. I picked them up and read them. An introduction to building machines? I knew that these were pages to the machine technology books. I noticed that there were more pages and it led to a weird hideout. Wait, is this owned by the goblins? They took these books, but why? There were a lot of goblins here and I didn't have time to start an all-out fight. So I decided to use my Enderman powers to sneak around the hideout and find the books. I teleported around, avoiding all the goblins until I finally reached them. Yes, now... I can get the scanner from the library. I collected the books, but noticed a strange painting behind them. The painting revealed a giant machine. So that's why the goblin needed these books. I teleported out of the hideout and made my way back to the ancient library. Whatever that machine was, it had the extractor written all over it. I wonder what it could be though. So, you want me to bring you this lava enderman? Yes. Once you do that, you will be paid handsomely. Consider it done. On days 15 to 16, I returned to the ancient library and gave the librarian his books. Oh, thank you. The scanner is all yours. Score. Now, Ral can use this for our book. I thanked the librarian and left. As I walked out, there was a strange man waiting for me outside. Name's Blackjack. You're coming with me. He told me that the extractor sent him to come capture me. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not going anywhere with you. Now, please leave now. <sighs> Guess we're doing it the hard way. He used his flintlock pistol and shot his bullets at me. I teleported away from them and had no choice but to fight back. I charged that blackjack, but he dodged and knocked me aside. Ah, this guy was strong. I already lost five hearts from one hit. Blackjack shot his pistol and I teleported away from the bullets. Somehow, he knew where I was going to teleport and shot me with his pistol. Ah, these bullets are no joke. I didn't want to continue fighting, so I teleported away from the area. Run all you like, Enderman. I promise, I will find you. I teleported in front of my camp. Ah, that was a close one. Bozo, you're hurt. What happened? I told Ral not to worry about me and handed him the ancient scanner. I'll get back to work on the book. After eating some of the crops, I realized that I needed to get some upgrades. I'm gonna need to be prepared if I ran into Blackjack again. I left the camp and ventured into a cave in search of iron. From the looks of things, mostly all caves were already stripped. Thanks for your generosity. Goblins. Thankfully, I managed to find scraps of iron inside of the cave. There was enough iron for me to craft myself an iron chest plate. This will protect me for now, but I knew finding more nether armor would better protect me. Suddenly, there was a loud rumbling deeper in the cave. What was that noise? I decided to go deeper inside to investigate. On days 19 to 20, I followed the sound of the rumblings, and it led me to what looked like a dig site. I walked to the edge of the site, and there was a giant hole. It looked like the hole led all the way to bedrock. Okay, I gotta be careful. I looked around the site, and there were no ores anywhere. Hello? Is anyone there? Help me! 
Who is that? I followed the voices and turned to see cages that were full of villagers. I walked over to them and asked what they were doing here. One of them told me that they needed money and found this place was full of emeralds. They tried to extract some, but the goblins came and didn't like what they were doing. The villagers have been imprisoned here ever since. The villager wished the goblins never existed. Why? What led you guys to hate them so much? The villager said this all started because of the extractor and his brother. Wait, his brother? He has a brother? I freed the villagers and told them to leave before the goblins came back. One villager thanked me and they quickly left the dig site. There was nothing else for me to collect, so I decided to leave the site as well. Man, hopefully Raul has some new information on the missing pages. Maybe it'll connect to the extractor's brother. As I made my way out of the dig site, Blackjack showed up in front of me. I told you I'd find you. He immediately shot his pistol again and hit me with his bullets. Luckily, my new iron chest blade protected me from them. Okay, this time, I'm not running. I teleported behind Blackjack and knocked him away from me. That didn't do too much damage to him, and he sliced me with a blade. No more playing easy. He tried to slice me again, but this time, I was ready for him and teleported away from the attack. I used my nether sword and sliced Blackjack, but that only made him angrier. Oh, no. Blackjack pulled his shotgun out and shot me to the ground. Ah! I was hanging on five hearts and needed to get out. But he stood over me with his shotgun. I got you. Time to go see the extractor, Lava Enderman. On days 24 to 26, Blackjack and I arrived at the extractor's base. He took me to a cage and knocked me into it. Ah! I tried to teleport out, but was too weak to do it. You're not going anywhere, Enderman. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I can finish my work. Do you mean you and your brothers? What did you just say? I told him that I knew he had a brother. Why? Why are you doing this? Things were much different. When I was young, my mother took care of my brother and I as any mom would. But we had no food, no resources, nothing. We asked for anybody to help, but no one did because of it. My mother died. This forced my brother and I to fend for ourselves. We made our way into the caves in search of food, in search of anything. But what was waiting for us? Goblins. They took us in when no one else could and raised us until eventually we led them. We were sick of not having what we deserved, so we started to take resources from caves and and random fields, but the people above ground didn't like that. They killed my brother, taking the last piece of family I had left. So now I'm gonna take everything from them, which led me to you and your heart. The extractor told me that it was the key to everything to bring his plan into fruition. Soon you will be dead, then the world will know what it's like to have nothing. No, stop, please, just listen to me, stop. You can't do this. I was trapped, and the extractor was going to take my heart and ruin the world. Could it get any worse? I tried to teleport out of the walls, but something was stopping me. Why can't I? You know, those are teleport-proof walls, my friend. It was Gobby. Why are you here? Gobby then let me out of the cage. He really is a good goblin. We need to get you out of here before the extractor comes back, all right? We quickly made our way out of the camp and avoided any goblins. Once we were at a safe distance, I had enough strength to teleport us back home. We appeared in front of the camp, and... Gobby was hesitant to come inside. I don't know, Fozo. Are you sure it's okay for me to be here? You know I'm a goblin, right? Hey, it's fine. You're my guest. And anyone that has a problem with that will have to answer to me. I decided to build Gobby a house to make him feel a part of the community. Suddenly, the piglins showed up and started messing with them. Hey, back off. Gobby is our guest here. Deal with it. The piglins left Gobby alone, but didn't seem happy about it. Yeah, you know, thanks, Fozo. Really appreciate it. You know, it's the least I could do. I was able to find the location of the next missing page. He said that it was located at a temple not far from here. So I immediately left to go get it. I will find you, Lava Enderman. Just you wait. On days 30 to 32, I arrived at a temple? Jeez, how many are there in the world? Anyways, I walked inside, hoping it would have what I was looking for. Aha, there it is, a missing page. I decided to start reading. It has been said within the lava heart lies unlimited power. It could either be the downfall or the savior. Talk about weight on your shoulders. If my heart obtains unlimited power, then that must be why the goblins want it. They want my heart to power something, a machine. But what? I put 
looked down the page and saw that there was also another chest plate. Sweet. I put it on and felt a lot stronger. I had five more hearts and could make myself bigger? What? Oh, phew. Looks like it's only temporary. Maybe that'll be useful some point down the line. Anyways, time to go back home to share the news. Hey, where's my money? I earned it. He escaped. You aren't getting anything. Now leave before you regret it. No, I promise you will be the one to regret this. Perfect. With our newly made potion, you all should be stronger. Soon this world will be ours. As I made my way back to camp, I noticed a fire nearby. I ran over to see what was going on, and I found a village that was being attacked by goblins. They were using some strange machines to destroy the villagers' homes. This was the same village that the piglins came from. Something was different about these goblins, though. They were way bigger than before. The extractor must have upgraded them somehow. The goblin was about to smash a villager, but I teleported and blocked the attack. Ouch! They're much stronger than before, too. Well, two could play at that game. I used my new energy of an ability and grew larger than the goblins. I then used my nether sword to slash down the first goblin. The other goblin got more angry and charged at me. I teleported out of the way and he ran into a wall. I diced up the attacking goblin and the other goblins ran away. Yeah, you better run. I shrunk back to my normal size and the villagers thanked me for saving them. Of course, guys. I'm just glad I can help. On days 36 to 38, I finally made it back to camp. I looked around and noticed that Raoul and his wife were working on the farm. We have been busy at work since we had that energy burst. Thanks again for that. Of course. I went on to tell Raoul about everything I have learned. You are definitely onto something, but sadly I got bad news for you. Raoul then told me that the so-called ancient scanner was a piece of junk and broke on him. Oh, well, I guess it wasn't so ancient after all. If you want more info, we gotta find another way. Great. I was walking back towards my house when a piglin stopped me. Hey, I overheard your conversation and had an idea. Maybe you can visit the nether. Hey, you're right. If I go back to where all of this started, there has to be more information there waiting for me. I thanked the piglin and headed my way off to the nether. I finally returned back to my home and it was in terrible condition. Everything was dried out and there was no lava in sight. I looked back at where my father was killed. I promise, dad, I'll avenge you. I made my way to the castle and went inside. Okay, I did not like what I saw. There were piglins inside, but they all looked so weak. Too weak to even put up a fight. Well, stop. Who goes there? He tried to attack me. Hey, stop that. He kept attacking me until he finally stopped and realized it was me. The piglin king will probably want to see you. The two of us entered the throne room where the piglin king was waiting for us. Bozo, you seem trouble. What brings you back here? I asked the king if he knew anything about my lava heart, and he said that he did. I I thought it was just a legend, but it seems that your heart is the key to saving the world. Everyone is starting to lose a lot of faith. Yeah? Well, we need to restore it. I asked them how, and the king told me that I needed to travel to the center of the nether. Only there will you find what you are looking for. On days 42 to 44, I was out looking for the center of the nether. What could possibly go wrong? Ah! I landed and looked around. What is this place? It had to be the place I was looking for. It looked much different than the rest of the dimension. I kept walking forward until a giant nether beast appeared in front of me. Who are you? You dare speak to me that way. It is I, the god of the nether. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Listen, I need your help. The nether god told me he knew all about who I was, as well as my destiny. My destiny? So you know what's gonna happen? Yes, but that is for you to find out. And that heart is the key to all of it. Once it is at full capacity, it should restore all of this dreadfulness. Okay, well, how do I do that? You must amplify it. I mustn't give you the amplifier, but here is a book that shall give you everything you need. Thank you. Thank you so much. I left the nether god's presence, and on my way out of his domain, I saw another helmet and lava course. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I took this, right? I put it on and headed out. I returned to the nether castle and gave the castle guard the lava course. Use this to heat up the kingdom, all right? It should help out, even if it's only temporary. I looked around and saw all the piglins losing energy fast. We should heat this place up. The guard and I walked over to their core room and placed the lava cores inside. The entire kingdom suddenly transformed 
transformed and was fully functional again. Thank you, Fozo. You remind me of your father with your kindness. You knew my father? The king told me that he and my father were good friends before his death. I just want you to know that your father would be proud of everything you're doing. Thank you, your highness. I really needed to hear that. Speaking of your father, I think you should have this. The king gave me an amulet and told me that this was a fire amulet. Suddenly, uh, I felt stronger and I gained 10 more hearts. Maybe dad wanted me to have this when I was born. I thanked the king for giving me the amulet and made my way out of the nether. On days 48 to 50, I exited the portal. Okay, back here. I gotta be careful to not be spotted leaving. I slowly but surely made my way out of the extractor's base, but noticed something. Something huge. My questions were all just answered. This giant machine, this is what the extractor has been working on the entire time. It wasn't just the machine. It was a giant drill aiming right down towards the core of the world. The extractor then slammed down right in front of me. I have sent my men searching throughout all the lands just for you to walk right to my front door. Is this really what you've had planned? Listen, what you're doing is wrong. Do you really think your brother or mother would be proud? They would be amazed. Listen, join me. Let my dream become a reality. I know a way we can do this without you dying. I shall grant you all the resources you desire. No, I will never join you. The extractor got angry and rushed at me. We fought, and thanks to my new upgrades, I was actually able to take more of his hits. I grew into a bigger size, and my attacks looked like they dealt way more damage. He started to call it his goblin minions, and I knew that it was time to go. I quickly teleported out just in time. I will make this machine with or without that Enderman's heart. Get to work! I returned to the camp and noticed that there were more houses inside. I didn't build these. Ral came up and told me he added these houses. I found these people wandering close by. They said their home was destroyed. Hey, aren't those the guys that I saved earlier? Yeah, we tried to rebuild our homes, but had no resources. Please, help us! Of course! Welcome to your new home, guys. The villagers thanked me for letting them stay. As they were leaving, I showed Ral the nether book. I told them that this book could help us stop the extractor. So instead of the extractor using your heart against us, we can use it against him. Exactly. The only problem is that I don't know where to find the pieces to the amplifier. I'm sorry, but did you happen to say amplifier? I told him yes, and the librarian said that he's heard about the amplifier and heard many rumors on the location of a piece. He pointed me to the direction, and I thanked him for his help and left for the piece. On days 54 to 56, I arrived at what looked like an ancient temple in the sky. Okay, better check this out. I I teleported to the entrance and went inside. As I was walking in, I noticed an object that was in the middle of it and saw that it was a piece of the artifact. I quickly put it on myself. I felt much stronger than I did before. Oh, look at that. I have five more hearts. Yep, it's working all right. I better test this out. I teleported back down to the surface and quickly looked for an empty lava pool. This one should do just fine. I used my newly found lava heart ability and it fully refreshed the lava around the pool. Sweet. At full power, this should definitely restore everything. Wait, why do I feel so weak? Ugh. All right, team. It's time we do this with or without that lava enderman. Time for plan B. One way or another, we will use that drill. On days 57 to 59, I opened my eyes and found myself in a strange world. Where am I? Hello, my son. Dad? I ran over and couldn't believe that he was right here in front of me. I told Dad that I missed him so much. It's great to see you. You're doing good, but you need to be more careful. He told me that the more I used my heart, the weaker I would become. I know you want to save the world have to find the other pieces of the amplifier first. He told me that once that happened, the world would be restored to what it once was. What happens to me then? He said he wasn't so sure. Whatever the case, I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out. Good luck. I immediately woke up and realized that I was dreaming. I felt that my power was coming back now, though. Thank you, Dad. I'll be sure to be more careful when I use my lava heart. On day 60 to 62, I was on my way to base when I heard a bunch of screaming. What is going on? Dude, we don't have any gold! With where? We don't even like gold! I can literally 
clearly see the goal. You're dropping it everywhere. Oh no, they're in trouble. I teleported in and confronted Blackjack. Hey, leave him alone. Blackjack was shocked to see me. He thought for sure I'd be dead by the extractor's hands by now. It's very evident that all you care about is money, don't you? Of course I do. It pays the bills. Yeah, well, have you ever thought about what you were doing to get it? Look, you're killing and stealing from people. Don't you have any dignity? The Blackjack had enough and started fighting me. See? You know I'm right. Stop it. But he didn't listen, and we kept fighting. I used my magma block throw and hit him, weakening him. How dare you judge me? Some people aren't as lucky as you and need to do what they can for a check. I don't think that's true at all. I think you are better than this. You just haven't had anyone in your life to believe that. Well, guess what, Blackjack? I believe you're more than just a money grab. I got the piglins. Head back to camp. Now, I looked back at Blackjack one last time before turning over and heading out. The piglins and I finally made it back to the camp. Now, you guys stay in the camp. You need to stop causing trouble for the rest of us. What? Don't blame us. Yeah, bad. I'm just a little homesick. Homesick? Maybe it's time you guys went home then. I decided to take the piglins back to the nether and bring them to the piglin king. Hey, your highness, can you keep an eye on these two for me? My sons, where have you been? Dad, we were just visiting the overworld. Nothing special. Wait, your sons to the piglin king? Yeah, dude, I thought you knew. The king thanked me for bringing back his sons and told me that the lava cores didn't last long. Hurry, Fozo. I don't think the nether will last much longer. On day 66, to 68, I was back in the overworld and saw how different everything looked. I haven't been gone that long. I looked around and saw a bunch of mining holes, devastated villages, and animals that looked starved from lack of food. The extractor has been hard at work. I have to do something about this before all of this becomes irreversible. As I kept walking, I heard mech noises. Oh no, that's not a good sign. I walked over and saw a small goblin camp hideout. They were riding mechs that looked a lot larger and more powerful. Attack! It's the Enderman! One of the goblins in the mech spotted me and started to charge. Oh, great. I teleported behind him and started to attack back. Because of my upgrades, I was able to teleport around now at ease. I got larger and was able to completely take down a mech as well. Sweet. But more of them appeared and started to hit me with their mining beams. I turned back into normal size and knew I had to run. As I was running away, I realized I picked up one of the mech suits when I was giant. Sweet. I know just the person who would want this. On day 69 to 71, I returned back home. Thankfully, it was just how I left it last time. Ra was with his wife, and Gobby was out farming. Hey, Gobby, I got something for you. I ran over to him. Hey, so I was meaning to tell you. What's the crops, man? All right, we all gotta eat somehow, you know. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. Look what I was able to get for you. Is that? It is. Your very own mech suit. Gobby freaked out and was amazed. He told me that he had always wanted one since he was a kid. Well, now you have one. Gobby's excitement slowly vanished. Hey, what's wrong? You were just excited a second ago. If they were riding these mech suits around, that means the extractus plan is close to finishing. But that's impossible. They need my heart, don't they? Gobby told me that they did for infinite power, but that didn't mean they couldn't turn the drill on without it. Great. Well, that's not good. Hey, hey, if that drill turns on, Fozo, the entire world will be stripped of anything that is keeping it healthy. The extractor will win. No, I won't let him. There has to be something I can do. Come on, think, Fozo, think. That's it. Gobby, we have to blow up the machine and destroy it. Oh, now you're talking. And I think I might know just the guy. On day 72 to 74, Gobby and I reached a lab of sorts. We entered the lab and started to look around. It looked like it wasn't fully operational. I then followed Gobby up some stairs until we reached another room. Hey, Gobby! Tommy! They started to talk and laugh until I joined the conversation and told Tommy why we were there. So, you want a way to blow up the giant drill, huh? Eh? Well, it's gonna cost you. Cost me what? Tommy started to show me around his base, and I quickly realized it was inoperable. Nothing was functioning or on. That would explain the look. Tommy told me that his lab hasn't been functioning since the extractor and his goons started to go haywire and steal everything. I heard you got a special heart there. If you refuel my lab 
Tori, I will tell you what you need to know. I quickly remember that last time I used my heart, I almost passed out and died. But I had to do this in order to stop the goblins. Okay, Tommy, you have a deal. Come on. I took a breath in and quickly let out a burst of energy. The entire lab was now on and functioning. Oh, man. I felt a little out of it, but not as much as last time. I must be getting stronger. Wait, here's what you need to know. Tommy told me that there was an operating room in every machine. If we find it and destroy that room, we destroy the entire thing. Thanks, Tommy. Gobby and I headed out of the lab, but we're stopped again. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I saw a lava artifact in an empty volcano. Thank you. We went off in search of the artifact. On days 75 to 77, Gobby and I reached a large volcano. Volcano? Check. No lava? Check. I teleported up to the top. Hey, wait, no, wait, wait up, uh Great. I guess I'm walking. All right. Now to find the second artifact piece. I quickly started to look around the edge of the volcano and there wasn't anything here. Inside of it was also completely empty. Wow. Thanks a lot, Tommy. Suddenly, the entire volcano began to shake and it appeared right in front of me. Oh, sweet. There you are. I quickly teleported over to it and it attracted itself into my body. A huge surge of energy took over me and I felt much stronger than before. Time to test this out. I teleported back to the edge of the volcano and used it on it, refilling it back to the way it was. Yep, it's getting stronger, all right. <sighs> I reached the top. Oh, look, you did it. Yeah, I did. Now, come on, let's go home. Wait, no, wait. Oh, man. Oh, I'll just meet him there. I need a nap. On days 78 to 80, I was on my way back to camp when I heard a bunch of fighting? What's going on? I went over to see Blackjack, and he was fighting a bunch of goblins. It looked like he was completely surrounded. Was he defending a destroyed village? Looks like he's had a change in heart. I teleported in to help him out. Fuzo, I see you're finally joining the Party. Yeah, I thought I'd help a little. We fought side by side, each using our own abilities. Together, we were a lot stronger, and eventually we were able to take out all of the goblins together. Blackjack told me that he stole a bunch of the extractor's money, and these goblins followed him shortly after. Well, and here I am thinking you completely changed. I listened to what you said, and I think you're right. I'll use this money to help other people. The world deserves another chance at redemption. I'm glad to see that people can change, though. I told them about my new form plan, blowing up the machine. The extractor told me that while he was stealing the money, he think he may have found the machine's operating room. That's great. Here are the coordinates, Fozo. Again, thank you for helping me be a better person. Now go save the world. Blackjack left. I will. I promise. On days 81 to 85, I arrived at the machine. Okay, I just need to follow these coordinates. I quickly teleported into the main doorway. Yes, this is it. Time to destroy you. Oh, is that what you think? The extractor was right behind me. Were you expecting me? Do you really think I would let this room be unmonitored? Well, you were wrong. And now, there's no escape for you. One of us will be defeated today, and it won't be me. The extractor charged at me and took away half of my health in one hit. Oh no, this guy is angry. I teleported around and tried to avoid his attacks, but he was starting to catch on. Oh, uh, I have to get out of here. I made a run for it, but he caught up to me and slammed me to the ground with his club. Ah! Uh. It was a valiant effort, Lava Enderman. You fought hard, and that I respect. But this is the end of the road for you. Now, it's time to fulfill my destiny. Yes, yes, everything is coming to plan. There is no one who can stop me. Ah, oh, my head. Where am I? Am I dead? No, I failed. I let down everyone. Not everyone. He told me that we didn't fail. Not yet. Well, what do you mean? Dad, I, I was defeated. That's it, okay? That was my only chance and I failed. There is a way for you to return. You gathered two-thirds of the Lava Heart artifacts, correct? I told him that I did. But even if I do return, the drill is gonna be on and I, I still can't defeat the extractor. I'd only return to get killed again. Suddenly, another soul appeared. It was the extractor's brother. My brother is lost. Please help him see reality. He only sees a twisted version of our dream. The brother told me they wanted to be successful, but not like this. He gave me a club and said it was his. If I gave it to the extractor, maybe he'll believe me. If anyone can help him, it's you, Lava Enderman. Now, hurry back quick. 
take this. My dad threw me the last piece of my nether set, as well as the last artifact piece I needed. Once combined, your heart shall be reborn. Go, son. Make me proud. I combined the last piece and felt stronger than I ever did. I had five more hearts and knew something was happening. On days 91 and 94, I spawned back as a new looking Enderman. I was giant now. Sweet. I gotta make it back to camp fast. I hurried back, but everything looked different. It was being monitored by goblins. I don't want to die. I miss you, Fozo. Don't worry. I am here. I teleported in and started to fight off with the goblins. Fozo! Stay away from my friends. I used a lava blast and took them all out. My friends were amazed that I'd returned. I'm glad I'm back to. I need to go to the machine though. Now, they told me that the machine is already operating and the entire world is being stripped of everything it has. Okay, well time to put an end to all of this once and for all. I can't do this on my own, guys. I need your help. Let's go. On days 95 to 99, we arrived at the machine and it was going off. This is insane. We all looked at each other and knew what had to be done. Let's do this, guys. Let's go. We charged in and all started to attack the goblins. Gobby was using his new mech suit and taking out all of them. Rao was using his drop bear brute force and slicing up one at a time. We were doing it. I used my large scale and lava abilities to take out chunks of them one by one. The machine still raged on though. Bozo, we'll handle this. You need to stop the machine. The lava enderman? Impossible. Hello there, old friend. He quickly made his way inside the machine and I teleported out following him. On day 100, I was inside the machine with the extractor right in front of me. This ends now. You shouldn't be alive. This is not happening. He rushed at me again, but thanks to my final upgrade, it gave me the upper hand I needed. I teleported around him with ease and started to hit him with my brute force strength. Thanks to my nether sword, it countered his club pretty easily. Listen, we don't have to do this. I talked to your brother. What you're doing is wrong and he believes that. How? How would you know? Because I have this. I pulled out the club and threw it on the ground in front of him. How did you? I told you. Everything I'm saying is true. Your brother, when you killed me, I talked to him. He thinks that you're filled with rage. And your once before dream is now twisted into something horrifying. The extractor slowly started to cry. You are more than this. Make your family proud and turn off the machine. I can't believe this. I, I just wanted to be successful. You still can't can be, but not like this. The extractor agreed and slowly turned over to turn off the machine. With a click, everything stopped. I quickly used my lava heart and a burst of lava flew through the air. Cave systems, the nether, everything was restored just like it should be.